our 12, 13 foot albino Burmese. Uh, her name is Beauty. She's a rescue, uh, Adcox animal or Adcox reptile and animal rescue. Um, we fed her a full size uh, Californian New Zealand cross rabbit. Um, we breed our own and and uh, have specific feeder rabbits uh, and different pet rabbits, and we have feeder rats and pet rats and. Uh, Anyway, she is just now, I do fresh kills, so she didn't even have to kill it. She did wrap it a little bit, but no, for no particular reason other than her normal gluttonous ways. Um, and uh, then she's going to uh, find the head and start with the head. Later we'll have uh, our uh, big uh, rescued red tail, and uh, she'll be eating a rabbit also. She is the largest uh, that I've seen. Now, I'm sure there are bigger out there, but she's the largest one that I have personally seen and personally had. Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue. This is uh, our, <clears throat> excuse me, Burmese uh, beauty. She is a rescue. She's, uh, I don't know, around 12 feet, uh, give or take, and uh, good body weight. She's eating a full size New Zealand uh, uh, Californian cross rabbit. Um, we breed our own uh, rabbits for feeders. Uh, also, we be, breed uh, pet quality. We also breed our own rats for feeders and also breed our own rats for pet quality for temperament and disposition. Um, also for lifespan and, and health and, and you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. Um, anyway, we have a very large collection of uh, snakes and, and reptiles and uh, all of them are rescues uh, except for a few. Um, and this uh, beauty's in her feeder tank, uh, which is big enough for her to eat. Uh, get in the water um, and uh, you know get plenty to drink she can the water bowl is actually big enough for her to actually get in and you know swim in so to speak uh, or more like soak um, which you don't necessarily need in a feeder tank but we have one in here anyway um, but she's working uh, up past the head now uh, right about the ear she's got the entire muzzle in her mouth and she's uh, right at the ears. She'll reposition a hundred times before it's over and you know like this you know roll her body to reposition and, and, and that repositions her head on the rabbit it also repositions the rabbit. Uh, she'll also hold the rabbit with her body to force her force it further down her throat. Um, so and uh, later we're gonna have a, a red tail uh, called her her name is Big Red um, and keep in mind, all these animals are held on a daily basis and, uh, uh, you know, handled and, and uh, uh, fed what they need. Now, there's a big problem with people feeding uh, snakes way more than they need, and it creates a very overweight uh, snake. Uh, the, also, the same thing can be said about lizards. Many people overfeed their, their reptiles, period not realizing that their metabolism is incredibly slow and they really don't need that much food it just makes them overweight um, I'll try and get a video of our large uh, tegu uh, he's a big boy um, and we also have a uh, young savannah monitor female that we rescued that I'll also try and get video of uh, she eats uh, fuzzy rats uh, the tegu also eats fuzzy rats although both could do bigger meals um, they're fed, fed so frequently that it's really not necessary um, it's it's easier for them to digest a smaller meal, you know, uh, once a week than it is a huge meal once every two or three weeks. Uh, plus, they have a much higher metabolism than snakes, so they need uh, the more more food intake, but not too much food intake. Um, and uh, I also have several ball pythons. Uh, we, now, those uh, most are not rescues, and the ones that are not rescues, I actually breed. Um, uh, trying to get morphs and stuff like that uh, and any money made goes back into Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue. Um, at some point um, when I'm dressed for it and I feel you know uh, less shy stuff like that I'll get on the video and we'll take you through a lot of the stuff that we have. We have uh, Dumarils boas, um, you know Madagascar ground boas, we have um, tegus, savannah monitors, um, ball pythons, boas, argentine boas, red tailed boas, um, common boas, which is, you know, we have the BCI and the BCC uh, boas. Um, we Our female Dumarils right now is gravid, so is our female red tail. 
um, and our female Argentine. Uh, then we also have, uh, like I said, we have a ball baby that was from the last uh, clutch last year. Uh, we have uh, 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 Spike, who is a, a Euromastix, uh, which is a lizard. Um, we have sugar gliders. We have ferrets. We have, uh, you know, a monkey. We have a fox. There's several things that we have here at the rescue, and, and all of these, uh, well, let me rephrase that. Most of these, 99% of these have been rescued. Uh, they have not been purchased or bought. Um, I'm not against breeding if it's a reputable breeder that knows what they're doing and knows what their client or customer needs. Um, it's the ones that don't that tend to give this entire uh, hobby a bad name. And with me, it's just a pure enjoyment uh, of doing it. Uh, the money that comes from anything, uh, any of the baby ball born or morph born, goes straight back into the rescue because we are a nonprofit and we don't take any don we don't we don't get any donations or anything so it, everything's got to kind of come out of pocket um, so we'll uh, at some point we'll get that video going um, but that's on a, on a later date um, and uh, I'm gonna get uh, kind of skits of her you know at certain stages of uh, eating and after she's done then I'll mix in some of the uh, of big red uh, and she's going to be eating a rabbit also, although it's a smaller rabbit, she's, uh, she can handle it. She's, like I said earlier, she's the biggest uh, red tail that I've dealt with um, and had. And I'm not, you know, I, I'm not sure I've seen one bigger than her. She's, she's impressive. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you updated. And uh, I'm going to try and mix these all together and create a, a long video instead of a bunch of little, little bitty videos. I'll see how good I am at that. Uh, technologically, I'm not, uh, not real well versed. Anyway, this is uh, Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue. Yeah, that's perfect view. This is our very large red tail boa, and she is always plenty hungry. She is very large. Uh, she is close to about nine or ten feet long, the biggest I've dealt with um, personally. I'm sure there are bigger ones out there. I just personally haven't dealt with them or really seen them. Uh, she has got an exceptional body size. She's eating about a oh, four and a half month old uh, New Zealand uh, Californian rabbit cross that uh, Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue, uh, so we breed our own uh, feeder rabbits and uh, pet rabbits, and uh, same with the rats, feeder rats, pet rats. Pet rats are, and rabbits are done for docile uh, temperament, um, you know, the, their looks, all kinds of, uh, of different stuff. The feeders, uh, they're specifically bred just for a feeding rabbit, uh, and this is Big Red. She is our very large red tail bow, if we can get a shot over here, my girlfriend's filming it for me here. Go that way just a hair. There we go. Uh, you can tell. Let's see. She's occupied. So you can see by my hand, she is a big, big girl. Um, she is, uh, you know, she's, she's bigger around than a softball uh, easily. Um, actually, she's bigger around than a, than a football. She's a, she's a big girl. When she's not in her feeder tank, she has an excellent temperament uh, with me. Now, everybody else she doesn't like a whole lot. Um, a lot of people say they're just a dumb reptile. They don't know their handlers. I am not one that succumbs to succumb to that and, and drake the punch, so to speak, and think that they're too stupid to know their handlers because I have several reptiles that I can do anything I want with them and they're perfectly fine. However, anybody else messes with them, they're going to get hit. So, you know, uh, uh, you know, as Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue, uh, we try and take in anything we can. It's all out of pocket. Uh, we don't get donations. We don't get, you know, we get some donated cages once in a while or enclosures, so to speak. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, what we're doing here is this is the, the, the red tail I was telling you we were going to film. Uh, Beauty, the albino berm, is still eating. We're going to kind of go back and forth. Uh, this rabbit is half the size that Beauty is eating. Uh, she's eating a full-size New Zealand Californian cross. This is about a four or five month old uh, New Zealand Californian cross. Uh, so not quite full size yet, uh, but Big Red is gorgeous. She's one of my favorites. Uh, she's just, you know, big and bad and, you know, she, she's kind of a daddy's girl. 
um, and she's a female. Um, now her food source is small, smaller right now due to the fact that I believe if she took, she may be gravid. Now I don't know that and I'm not going to spend a fortune in uh, a machine, uh, ultrasound machine and stuff like that. So what I done was bred her and we'll see if she produces and if not, that's fine. And if she does, then any money made from those babies will go right back into the rescue because it's all out of pocket and we're a non-profit. Um, and uh, we'll keep you up to date and we're going to swap back and forth between uh, Big Red here and uh, Beauty, the albino Burmese. This is Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue. This is Mr. Kipley. Um, he is uh, also a rescue. He's in his feeder tank right now. Uh, he's eating a fuzzy rat. Um, well, more than a fuzzy rat, it's just a juvenile rat. Um, and uh, he is a good boy. He's very large. Got a nice, if you see right here, right there at the base of the tail, it's where they have their fat stores, and his is nice and puffed up, but not too big. He's not too overweight. Uh, but he's a big boy. Uh, he's uh, got a good temperament, uh, grumpy sometimes, but most of the time he's a pretty good guy. Like you ain't getting away. It's our Savannah monitor and the feeder tank. Her name is Godzilla. She's young, uh, but real good temperament. Um, I can pick her up, handle her, pet her. Um, real healthy. Um, got a good fat store back here. Just an all around, she's a good girl. Uh, the feeder tank, as you can see, the heat tape down here. Uh, the heat tape runs from over here all the way to the back. Got a good area over here, basking area uh, over here, uh, cooler area over there. Water bowl goes here, and this is just the feeder tank, uh, but I also like to still give them belly heat, external heat. Um, got them on thermostats, thermostats right back here. And uh, just uh, this, so, so far you've seen the uh, big red, our red tail, our uh, albino Burmese, our tegu male, and our female uh, Savannah Monitor. Uh, she's a young girl, uh, but I think she'll do just fine. She's, she's got a good temperament, she's healthy. Um, gotta watch those wood chips. She's got it out. Did she get it out? Okay. She's using uh, her tongue. I make sure she gets the wood chips out. And if she See? doesn't, then I get them out for her. There it is. Sometimes I have to get them out for her. Um, which you. normally she's not too bad about letting me help get them out. It's to the back of her mouth, it's almost out, but not out. There we go. Good girl. Um, she's probably done. She looks like it. But uh, yeah, she's she's a good girl. She's not big as for her age. She's a big girl. But she's very well taken care of. She gets Vita spray. She gets uh, UV lighting. She gets you know pretty well spoiled. All of these guys here are um, at all of them at the at, uh, Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue. Um, anyway, this is our Savannah Monitor uh, Rescue Godzilla. Uh, it's female, young, and uh, my name is Adam Adcox, and I run and own and operate uh, with uh, girlfriend and family Adcox Reptile and Animal Rescue.